What's up, y'all? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the Monster Bass channel. We're gonna have a fun day for you today. We got a nice, soupy, uh, can't see the hand in front of your face kind of day. Uh, but my son yesterday was like, Dad, I really wanna have some panfish. And I was like, so do I. How about that? So what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm gonna show you one bait that can catch any fish in the lake. Now, in this lake, that's gonna be like northern pike, largemouth bass, uh, and then four or five different species of panfish potentially catfish. They're all here, they're all an option, but I'm here to show you how downsizing a paddle tail is the easiest way to catch any fish. Now, yes, if you're looking for monster bass, which I know you're here, so I know you guys wanna do that, um, typically you're gonna to wanna to upsize your baits. Now, all you have to do is take these same principles and upsize them if you wanna sift out those smaller baits. If you wanna have a bunch of fun, maybe catch yourself some lunch, this is a great way to go. I'm gonna be running two BFS setups, now what's a BFS setup, you might ask? It's a bait finesse system, and basically that is an ultra light bait caster. Super simple, right? I'm gonna be throwing stuff that's like less than an eighth, eighth of an ounce in most cases. Uh, the max would be like a quarter ounce. And this is really all I've got for tackle. I got one box here and I've got a bag of plastics. That's it. The baits that I'm talking about are some smaller paddle tails. So this is the striking rage tail. This is like a 3.25 inch, maybe even down to like a two or a two and a half inch paddle tail. Here is, this one's like a couple of centimeters. What is this? 5.5 centimeters, little paddle tail. Uh, and then because we are dealing with some chicken soup, we're gonna be going with like white and chartreuse. Uh, we'll start there and see how it goes. Again, my goal is to catch uh, maybe 20, 30 fish in a couple hours. I'm gonna be on this little tiny kayak, which you guys will see in a second, and I'm just gonna get out there and get after it. Now, before I do that, I wanna say thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for checking out this video today. And if you haven't already, please go check out Aggressively Average Anglers. Jeff and myself, we do a lot of fishing. We do the ultralight, we do the big swim baits, we do the unboxings, the gear reviews, the fishing vids, we got it all. So please come check out us out as well. Now, I'm anxious to get fishing. I don't wanna waste this uh, beautiful pea soup. So let's get after it. Last time you saw a launch easier than that. And the idea here is to catch a couple of panfish to start. Again, we're trying to secure the bread. We are trying to get that dinner ready to roll. So that is what we're gonna start with first. So because we're looking for panfish first, I've got this little one, I think this is a one uh, 32 ounce jig. So little baby guy in pink and a bright color. I'm probably gonna go bright, it's a little soupy. Uh, we'll start with the bright. Hey, we'll see what happens. Just gotta experiment, see what those little fishies want. Reach back here into my little bag. I'm gonna grab myself a little swim bait. Because again, that swim bait, that's the, that, it will catch everything. It will catch everything. It'll catch the biggest bass in the lake. It'll catch a giant northern pike. It'll catch a catfish. It'll catch any panfish that's out here, period, the end. Period, the end. Now it also catches the little guys. I understand that, I respect that, but I'm after those little guys right now. Here's a little swim bait I'm going to start with. This is the uh, Mule Fishing Donkey Tail Junior, 1.6 inches, little guy. Little, little guy. Again, I said we were gonna start bright. I think we'll start with the chartreuse. Now you can rig these any way you want. And this goes, the same principle applies to any paddle tail that you might be using of any size. Uh, some popular options are just gonna be the open hook like I have here. I'll show you in just a second. So this is what I'm running, this little guy right here. And this is just gonna be on an open hook, right? So it's not weedless. You can run these weedless. You can run these on an underspin. You can run these on a spinner bait. You can run these uh, on a Texas rig that's maybe pegged. You can run these weightless. If they're, you know, a heavier plastic, there's like, there's unlimited options. You can run them on a drop shot, 100%. The Bubba rig, the upsized drop shot. You can run them on a shaky head. You can run them on, heck, you can run them on a Ned rig, no problem. Like the, the, the options are limitless. The whole point is these like to swim, so we'd like to see something move. Carolina rig can even work. Um, you just need to be able to move them somewhat. I'm already getting bit, so uh, in your face, haters. And um, as long as the thing is moving, you're good to go. It's really with this type of fishing, especially if you're looking for panfish, it's all about finding where the fish are first and then letting the rest take care of itself. So let's go find them fishies. Nice thing about pan fishing or like pressured lake fishing, like this lake gets a ton of pressure. It's just a little pond, uh, but it gets a ton of pressure. And so when you're on a really pressured piece of water, a kayak like this sometimes can be better than one of those big bulky kayaks. Um, the less presence, uh, the less noise that you can make, uh, the better off you're gonna be. Now, 
it's pretty warm today. We're getting into summertime, the hot summertime. So we're targeting shade. We're tar targeting those super tall weeds that provide some cover, a little bit of safety, and a little bit of cooler water. Um, we're definitely post spawns uh, for these fish. So that's where we're gonna be looking. So we're gonna check out the docks. We're gonna check out the weed lines and uh, we're gonna see if we can't uh, catch them up. First savage of the day. Now one thing about getting some bites from some dinks, if the little fish are chasing, that means the big guys, they're gonna be after it too. So that's a good sign. There we go. That feels like a good panfish. That feels like part of my, uh, part of my, oh, it's the bass. Oh, uh, yep, let me scoop that up. Come here, my brother. Any fish in the lake? All right, upsize. Jet skis. I kind of want to check this deeper water. Now, I don't have sonar or anything like that. I got no grass. But I got eyeballs and sunglasses, so we're not totally in up here. So I'm just looking to see where this kind of drops off just a hair. Um, maybe looking for some like tall weed piles that are kind of around this area. And then we're just gonna go throw at it. Got him. Tried, oh, little, little, oh, too, way too little, way too little. Where's your cousin, the large one? Might be little, but they're beautiful. There we go. Now we're talking fish. Oh, little pollen, little pollen. Let's go. Oh, upgraded bass. The boat flap trap. Nice take by a little guy. Um, we'll let you go, recover. Got, oh yeah. Another bass? Hold on. Ooh, ooh, Rocky. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. All right. Let's go. This is what we're after. Oh, he just horked it. He horked it. I love a good rock. Ah, I love a good rock bass right in the tongue, my dude. Is that not cool? There's nothing wrong with keeping a rock bass. They are delicious. But that's one. You ever get that cast where you're like, it was so perfect. Oh, where's my fish? Never happens. But that's how it feels. All right. We've hit a period of inactivity. It's time to make an adjustment. Now they are chasing. That's not the problem. So, how else can we utilize a little paddle tail to our uh, best advantage? Um, one way would be to add, I think I talked about this earlier, a little something shiny flashy. All right, so there is the change up. Uh, this is gonna be a little gold um, spinner blade, uh, Colorado style. Now, instead of the pink and chartreuse, we're sticking with a little chartreuse, but we're going with a more natural white. Cloudy day, I like the, uh, the natural slash bronze as an option and with this thing, thing being a little bit bigger uh it might entice some bigger fish that is the paddle tail game that is the swim bait game in a very tiny nutshell um bigger bait bigger fish oh right off the bat i think this is a pan oh big pole bass mm -hmm. what do we got what have we got here oh yeah another keeper yeah that's what i'm talking about that is what I'm talking about. Well, upsize, voila. And the nice thing about using the spinner bait is you don't have to upsize the hook. So I caught a smaller mouth fish, but like it's a, it looks like a bigger piece of chunk of meat because of that spinner blade. Yeah. You, my friend, unfortunately for you, unfortunately for me, are going on a string. Ah! Yeah, go meet your friend. Got him. Oh yeah. I don't know, it's gotta be a bass. That was sweet though. <laughs> Nothing like setting on him. Oh, <gasps> another Rocky, another Jumbo. Yeah, dog, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted, and a sub release. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Slab. We hammered that. All right, Rumi. Hammered by another rock bass. I'll take them all. All day, baby. Oh, yes! Come on. Please be a rock bass. Please be a rock bass. Please be a rock bass. Oh, just a wreck of the bass. <laughs> Big jump, too. Holy smokes. Yeah. Whoa. 
Ah! Mayhem. It's mayhem by the boat here. Oh! Oh! Nothing but upgrades. Nothing but upgrades. Yes! <laughs> what a shot. Absolutely hammered it. Thank you, my friend. I do eat bass occasionally. They're really good on a sandwich, but today, you can be free. Another thing we should uh, say, when you're preparing to go on a trip like this, you're gonna keep, know your catch and keep limits. Know the rules, know the slot limits. Uh, make sure you have permission, uh, legitimate access, uh, updated you know, fishing license that's uh, up to date. Uh, all of those things are super important. Yeah, that little drag, that little drag. Oh, come on, baby. Is this a panty? Feels like it. Oh, <laughs> he's so strong. He's so strong. Oh, it's a big bluegill. He's a strong bluegill. Ah, dang, man. The boy's a beast. Oh, the man's a fighter. Get in here. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what in the world? Yo, that. How'd you like to meet your roommates? It's most important to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. A long distance. Got him. Nope, lost him. Son of a brick. I think I lost him. Oh, no, nope, I still got him. Little guy. Must be. <laughs> Why are you so mad? He's trying to spine me. He's like doing his absolute best. Oh, like there's a fish over there. Fish on my stringer. <laughs> Got one. Oh, little bend, little drag. We horse him in. He's swirling, spinning. What do we got? What do we got? <gasps> perchy perch. Oh, perchy perch. A bigger one. Hey, well, there's one. There might be another one. I don't know. I'm probably not keeping that one. It's not really worth taking them out. Uh, nice fish though. Just gorgeous. Little predator fish. Like a baby walleye. Um, thanks for the thanks for the fun. Thanks for the fun. All right, this is probably gonna be our last spot for the day. If we need to catch one more, we don't catch one here. We'll fish our way back and we we'll get these fish on ice. But we're doing all right. One more is great. Two more would be perfect probably. But I'm happy no matter what. We're just gonna fan cast with these weeds and just let Jesus take the wheel. We're happy no matter what. Been having fun. Oh, oh holy yes. We got a bend in the rod. We got a dig and deep. What do we got here? 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 Fighter. Oh, fighter. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's like Christmas. What do we got? <gasps> Another. Yes. Prayers answered. Yes. 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 That. That will do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Quick stringer check. Uh, them's a couple of slabs. We got ourselves a nice snacky poo. Uh, ready to go. What I'm gonna do y'all is I'm gonna fish my way back I'm gonna get these boys on ice and we're gonna go home and have ourselves a snack Maybe next time you want to see a catch and cook. We can certainly do that pretty much at any time It's a great time of year to do it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about Ultralight baits about paddle tails. If you want to see one that's more bass centric on paddle tails, let us know uh, These this was like an ultralight quick trip. Let's have some fun type of deal uh, But we got everything for y'all. So let us know what you want to see. Like I said, I'm gonna go uh, fish out I'm gonna go get these on ice. I'm gonna have myself a good time. I hope you're all enjoying your summer Thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Remember these key tips whenever you're fishing paddle tails uh, Downsize means you catch more fish, but you can catch any fish, but you're gonna have to sift through some of the little guys. Uh, paddle tails in general, cloudy day. I like the natural, the gold. Try the char chartreuse though, that'll always work well for you. Uh, when it's super, super sunny, I like to go with maybe like a purple um, or something that's a little bit darker, uh, but has a little pop to it. And let's do a really quick recap. How many fish, how many species of fish do we catch in about two and a half hours? We caught perch, rock bass, bluegill, bass like it was nothing easy peasy we only changed two times changed lures two times and again we proved the rule upsize caught some bigger fish 
it's that simple. You need one, one, uh, one setup, uh, a couple of lures, and you're ready to rock. Appreciate y'all for checking out this video. Hope you guys have an awesome summer. Hope you guys get to do a catch and cook of your own. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Oh yeah. Good one. I'll show you. Little spinner bait.